What is going on gamers? Welcome back to the Dom Gaming channel. My name is Eric and as always I do want to say thank you guys so much for taking just a couple of minutes out of your day to spend it with me. Now I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I know I am. The Steelers won this week so I'm pretty hyped about it. That's why I'm repping their gear today. But today's video is going to be a short one and I want to make sure I get right to the point because I got to get on stream in about an hour. So what we're going to do is go over what you guys can use for capturing gameplay because a lot of you guys don't want to spend $200 right out the gate to get a capture card like this one. So instead what we're going to be using is this little guy, a USB stick with with probably I'd say about 100 to 200 gigs on it and that's honestly overkill you could probably go with even smaller like 64 gigs what's really great about this thing though is is that you're going to be able to capture the same quality 1080p for a fraction of the cost which is insane so what I'm going to do is show you guys exactly how to set this thing up and we're starting right now So first things first, before we get started, you obviously are gonna need to have a USB stick. It needs to be a 3.0 stick. It cannot be 2.0, trust me, it will not work. So if you don't already have one, hop over to Amazon or go to the link in the description below. I'll leave one for you. You wanna go ahead and get a USB like this. I recommend at bare minimum getting a 32 gig space, but probably just go with 64 so you don't have to delete anything. I went with 200, don't do that, that's overkill. I think I spent probably $27 on this thing. You could save like 10 bucks if you go with a lower one, so definitely do that. Once you have the memory stick and it's come in the mail, by the way, get Amazon Prime, trust me, it'll come faster. You're gonna wanna go ahead and plug it into your computer, and once you have it plugged into your computer, you need to go into your files, you know, the little orange, yellowish folder thing? You know what I'm talking about. And once you go down into the system and you find the actual USB plugged in, you wanna go ahead and right click on it and go to format, and make sure it's NTFS. Some of them will already be that way, but you need to double check it because that's the only way that the Xbox is actually going to recognize the USB so we can record footage onto it. Now that you've set up the USB, what you're gonna wanna do is go plug it into your Xbox, go over to the settings, tab and scroll down to preferences. From there, go to capture and share and change the capture location from the internal to the new USB that you just plugged in. And also of course, make sure your resolution's at 1080p. Now, whenever you load up any game you want, you go ahead and click on the Xbox button on your controller, go over to capture and share and just click start recording. Once you go back and check it again, you're gonna see that you have up to one hour of gameplay footage that you can record. Keep in mind that this is not gonna record you in your dashboard. So you are gonna have to go ahead and be any game to be able to utilize this. And you guys are set. You can now take the USB out of your Xbox, plug it into your computer and go ahead and take the footage off of there to go ahead and start editing it for YouTube. Now, the only downside I've found to using this method is that sometimes the audio and video will not sync up, but that's a pretty easy fix. Any editing software will allow you guys to shift those things around so you can line it up pretty quickly. And again, it's very rare that I've seen this happen to myself and I still use this little guy sometimes when I'm too lazy to go ahead and plug in my capture card. Now, one of the cool things about getting a capture card and I do recommend at some point investing in it is that it does have multiple uses, including being able to stream with it. It just overall makes the process a lot easier. Speaking of streaming, you're more than welcome to hop over onto my Twitch. I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting around 8 p.m. Eastern. We talk everything gear, or you can simply watch me get my butt kicked in every single game I play. <laughs> if you guys learned something new today in the video, be sure to drop a like on it because it does help push this video into the YouTube algorithm a little bit further. And feel free to subscribe if you want to see future content just like this. Thank you again so much for watching today. And as always, gamers, stay awesome and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. And you guys are set. Simply take the USB out of the Xbox, plug it into your computer, and you're good to go. That was terrible.